All right, it's Philip Getz talking about another math assignment here. So today I had the pleasure of teaching eighth grade math in a middle school, and we looked at the learning objective, uh, which of course is pretty much going to be the same, uh, math and fun. And as if you heard me do any lessons before, we are going to learn a way to do this problem, because if you don't have a way to do it, then you don't have any way to start. So there could be this way to do it, or there could be a better way to do it, right? So let's look at it here. So the y-intercept is going to be negative 5 right here, and then it's going to be 0. So that's what we know about this equation, 0 and negative 5. Let's see what else, else we know. We go over here, 9, we go up and down, 0. So 9 comes 0. If you look at this, it's really hard to tell. Like right here looking at it, that's actually 9 or if it's 8 point something or if it's 9 point something. So that's kind of a drag. It's something that's imprecise that we don't really want to have any kind of margin of error when we're doing a, a algebra problem. We usually have margin of error in physics or something like that, right? So let's take one of our first equations here and see what fits in. So 7x plus 4y is equal to 35. Pulling these numbers in, 7 times 0 plus 4 times negative 5 is equal to 35. So this is going to be 0 plus a negative 20 is equal to 35. So that is negative 20 is equal to 35. Is negative 20 and 35 the same thing? No. We could actually go and try it for this one here, but we're going to cross that one off. Right. So I need another sheet of paper here. So it's good to have scrap paper when you're taking the star test, right? Uh, so I've learned that eighth grade students, uh, at, at least in some school districts in Texas, are able to use calculators, right? So uh, if you have a calculator, that's great. But if you have scratch paper, that's also great. Let's do the next one. 4x minus 7y is equal to 35. Let's go ahead and solve that. So this is going to be 4, you put a 0 in here, minus 7. And then y is going to be negative 5 is equal to 35. So this here is going to be 0. And this is going to turn into uh, two negatives, make a positive. This is going to be plus 35 is equal to 35. Does 35 match 35? Yes, it does. So we're going to put a smiley face right here because we're good. Let's try this 9 and 0. So go back to the same, same equation here at the top, right? Plug it in. So let's get that 4 times 9 minus... 7, put the 0 in, is equal to 35. This is going to be 36 minus 0 is equal to 35. Is 36 equal to 36? That's what I was talking about. And is 36 equal to 35? I'm sorry. The first rule in the classroom is, if I do something wrong, tell me. So I made that rule up today. So if you see anything I do wrong, tell me. That was it right there. So is 35 equal to 36? What I had been doing all day working this problem is saying, maybe. But I went in to figure for all these other ones, and these other ones do not match up. So I ended up crossing off this one, crossing off that one. And this was the only uh, remotely close answer. So... My first rule in class is, like I just said, if I do something wrong, tell me. My second rule in class is, if you know a better way, come up and show me. Because my goal is that students have a way of doing these problems. And if they have a way, then there could be a second way, or there could be a quote-unquote better way. But the main thing is finding the smiley face, and math is fun, and students think that, oh, I have the answer. So if you have the answer, that's a good thing. It's not necessarily that, that math is a destination where you have the right answer. Is that math is a journey where you have a story and you show your work and it's repeatable where you're able to do it on a test when that time comes. Uh, this has been a message and brought to you by Concordia University, Texas. Uh, it's a, a affordable uh, programs uh, that they have there, and I was lucky, lucky enough to work through uh, my Master's of Business Administration at Concordia, Texas. Thanks for watching. My name's Phil Getz, and that's where I am on Twitter, P-H-I-L-I-P-G-O-E-T-Z. Thanks for watching.